Uh, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna do a review of Mr. Coffee 12 cup programmable coffee maker. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This one has the strong brew selector. Uh, this is gonna be another video in our budget coffee maker series. So please stay tuned. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing a quick unboxing to show you guys what's in the box and um, what, what, what all comes with it. So here we go. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a few of these. Um, the hardest part, I think, out of all of this is going to be what to do with these um, coffee makers. I, I'm probably going to do about 10 of these and then work our way up. So the first thing you're going to get is the manual. I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. Next is going to be... Being that it is a budget coffee maker, I don't actually assume that you, you're gonna get much, a whole lot with it. Put it coffee machine, I'm gonna put it down, so we're gonna break it, and it looks like that's it. Pretty simple. Alrighty, here we go. Here's the actual coffee machine. Toss that to the side. Pretty good size. Packaging is decent. Here's the first look at the carafe. Uh, 12 cups. Alrighty. Cord, standard cord. Let me see if I can go ahead and plug it in over here. Oh, give me one second. All right, so something I did notice um, right, right away is actually the fact that the cord is kind of short. So again, that's why we're doing these reviews for anybody who's looking for um, a coffee machine and doesn't want to break the bank. These are pretty disposable, if I do say so. Um, again, really short cable, so keep that in mind. That's why we're doing these reviews. All righty, get a chirp. Next, you're gonna go ahead and see that um, you do get a, a clock. Um, let's try to see if we can go ahead and figure out how to work it. I could read the manual, but where's the fun in that? So right now it looks like it's 9 a.m. So that's pretty easy to work with. Just go ahead and press nine or one, perfect. Oh, it's still beeping up. Oh, there you go. Cool. Now let's take a look again once more at the carafe. 12 cups, glass, lid seems a little flimsy. Now on some of these, this comes off. Make sure that that's the case for this one as well. It looks like it is. Um, the glass is pretty thin. That would be a little bit of a of uh, something to also keep in mind. The build quality is fair. Now I paid thirty four ninety nine for this one, but I have seen it on sale. But again, for thirty four bucks, it's it's actually pretty nice. Even if you're just getting this for you know. Uh, um, let's say that you go somewhere on vacation and you don't want to use their their the Keurig at the hotel or whatever. Um, you can just easily run to Walmart or Target. I got this one at Target and um, pick one of these up. Now, I have had one of these before and I just saw this again by, by uh, opening this up. But what I liked about it is that it does have a reusable filter. It's a two-part filter. So there's the base to it, or the insert. Um, you can clean that really easily. Just pop that on there. There you go. And then the reusable filter. This is probably my favorite part of this machine. Um, you don't have to go ahead and spend the extra money on the, the paper filters. Um, I'm sure you could if you wanted to. I actually have some here in my drawer. Give me one second. See if they fit. Oops, sorry. Looks like I dropped something. Here we go. 
So the filters do fit. So that is pretty nice. Let's see if I can get this in the screen. Cool. So the filters do fit in there pretty nicely. So if you don't want to keep using that mesh, you could always use your standard filters. Put that to the side. But again, this is super convenient. It has a little handle on it. Um, so if you are on a vac on vacation and, and, and you need a coffee machine and you forget to grab the filters, this is gonna, gonna come in handy. Um, let's take a look at the reservoir. I'm gonna have to unplug this again. So let's uh, take, a, take a look at the reservoir. It's on the side or it's built in, I should say. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty deep in there. The only concern that I did have with this machine and the reason, one of the reasons why I, I, I switched up to um, the Keurig with the carafe is that it has a hole in the back. Now, um, to some of you, that's not going to be a huge issue. Um, but to me, one of my concerns was that, um, you know, dust might get in there or whatever. But I guess if you're, if you're, um, you know, wiping it down every, after every use, you're not going to have any issue with it. But um, I kind of just set mine in its, you know, permanent location and, and I, you know, I clean behind it and around it as you guys can see. But, but um, that, that can be a little bit of a, of a nuisance or a concern for some of you. It's very light actually. So something else that's nice about this machine, it is light. Now I'm assuming that's because there's not, not many components to it. Um, you do have your brew later so that's like your programmable aspect of the coffee machine so you can go ahead and um, brew later and then set what time you want it to to brew for and then you have the brew now and then um, the best part about this machine is the strong brew feature uh, so that's pretty cool but again very simple design 12 cups uh, nice good size reservoir and um, decent carafe. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test now. We're gonna see how um, how it brews um, using the the strong brew feature, and we're gonna have ourselves a nice cup of coffee. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So what I've done now, um, I've actually rinsed out the the uh, carafe. Although it's new um, for me personally, uh, I think it's still you know, a good thing to rinse the carafe prior to first use. Um, I've already put my water in the reservoir. It's actually very simple. Um, I did take this thing off, which makes it easier. Otherwise, you know, you can, there can be some spillage. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and use your preferred coffee. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, um, the mesh filter that comes with the machine. And we're gonna go ahead and measure out However much coffee you normally use, I personally use four scoops of a, of, I'm using my um, Keurig coffee measure scoop thingy. Uh, so I'm gonna do four. The coffee that I'm using is Bostello. It's one of my favorite ones. We're just gonna do four for now. Um, let's try something cool. Let's try the, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do 12, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 12 cups of coffee. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do something really cool here. Oh, once you close that, you see what happened? So if you close it, the water dispenser actually swivels into place. I think that's pretty standard in most coffee machines. Um, but like I was saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, try to use all the features here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the brew later. Oh, wait, can I do that? There you go. Click blue la uh, brew later, and then you can set the desired time. For this instance, we're gonna do 9.13, okay. And then we're gonna do a strong brew. And once it starts brewing, we'll uh, pick up the video. Uh, where, it, where it left off and uh, we'll see this machine in action. Alrighty. So we programmed it for 9.13 a.m. 
it should start the brew process here any second now. There we go. Beautiful. And you can actually hear the sizzling because I uh, I washed my carafe, so that got pretty hot pretty quick. Now I'm starting to remember why I really like this machine. Uh, so uh, one thing I'm going to do for you guys as well is I'm going to go ahead and actually put the um, a link to this specific coffee machine uh, in the bio. Now, I bought it at Target. Um, some of you can, if, if you don't have a Target nearby or maybe you just don't want to run to Target, I'm going to go ahead and also put a link to the same machu machine on uh, Amazon. And then also I know that uh, Walmart is doing the delivery as well now in some, some locations. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link to Walmart and Amazon. Um, you can always for sure find it on Amazon though. So make sure to check it out. Alrighty guys, so it's taken us about 11 minutes to brew, we'll say um, eight cups. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're also gonna go ahead and turn off the strong feature, the strong brew feature, to see how long it, it takes to fill the next uh, four cups. That's pretty, that's, 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 11 minutes can be good or bad. Um, but let's, let's see now how, um, how long it takes us to brew the rest of the four cups. Oh. It looks like once you have it on strong brew, um, you can't turn it off. So I guess we have to wait. Okay, so um, here, here's uh, something interesting. So I used, I would say I used about maybe 11 and a half cups worth of, uh, of fresh water. Uh, so as you guys can tell, we lost about a cup and a half. Um, in the brewing process which uh honestly that's 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 quite interesting because i remember previously when i when i used this machine um i mean i rarely use the strong brew because as you guys can tell it took us um 17 minutes to brew that amount um so that's one of the reasons why i didn't really use the strong brew and uh i think with the the the, the brand of coffee that i use bustello that's uh, pretty strong enough. I'll go ahead and put a link to that as well in the bio so you guys can check it out. But yeah, long story short, you guys lost about a cup and a half of, um, of liquid in the brewing process. Um, there it is. Oh, looks like it has a little bit more in there. It's still slowly brewing. Pretty hot. Don't put your hand there like me. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's that's something to keep in mind. So um, to, to, uh, to recap... The good and the bad about the machine. Um, the good, it's uh, it's it's actually it's pretty small in size. Um, another good thing, it has the programmable brew feature. Uh, it fits up to twelve cups. Uh, it has a strong brew uh, feature or option as well. And then of course the brew now. Downsides to it, it took us nearly eighteen minutes. I believe, uh, sorry, 17 minutes, 16 minutes, I forget how long it took us, to brew the coffee. So, I mean, if, if you want an instant cup of coffee, um, Keurig is probably going to be the way to go. However, if you don't want to spend the money, this is a great option. Uh, it's only $34.99. The, the downsides to uh, this particular machine, um, not necessarily loud, uh, but somewhat loud. Also, you do lose some 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 uh, liquid in the brewing process, and it took us 17 minutes to brew this amount of cup of coffee. Um, so that could be good or bad. Now that was on the strong setting. I imagine if you have it on the uh, on the on the regular setting, um, it would take you less time. So maybe about 12 minutes. Um, so super convenient to have the 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 brew later option as well. Again. If you don't have 12 minutes to spare, you could, in a sense, program it for whenever you do need your cup of coffee, and by then it it should be good to go. Uh, so not many not many downsides I would say uh, to this particular machine. It is um, 
the build quality is 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 uh is okay it's not the greatest it's 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 a little i would say flimsy or or um you know not as um robust as as you might want but again for 34 bucks you can't really complain Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to continue to do um, similar machines like this uh, that are going to be budget, budget friendly, easy to use. And um, let me know if you guys have any machines that you guys want me to review. Again, I'm not a professional. Um, I just do this as a hobby because I really like coffee. So, you know, I'm really on my way to finding that perfect coffee machine as, as some of you might be as well without breaking the bank. Eventually, we are going to go to work our, our way up to more expensive machines, but you know, that'll be some other time. Uh, again, any comments, questions you guys have, leave them down below and we'll see you next time. Thank you.